All right, last thing, so I'll keep it quick so we can get out. Uh, I want to start, I'm Ben, I'm the chair this year, uh, and I want to thank everybody for being here and coming along. It's always great to see this community come together. And there's more people every year that I don't recognize, which is fantastic to be seeing all the new faces, as well as meeting all those old people. Um, to start off, I just want to start with some other thanks. Uh, this is for the US committee, the organizing committee. You can see all their names up there. They're all wonderful people. Worked really hard to put this together. And next year, it's going to be uh, Nick doing that. Down the front. I'm going to add a European thanks. Sometimes the European committee gets a bit forgotten here. And they do great work in the EU summit. If you get a chance to go over there, it's a good opportunity. And uh, Seb's the director, and these people are involved. And next year, Seb's going to be the director again. Uh, he's promised me that he'll find someone to be a shadow director this time, so maybe he won't be next time. I hope so. Uh, and even more thanks, I want to thank the steering committee and all our volunteers across everything that gets done. We're a volunteer organization. We really rely on all these people and much more to keep our community going, to keep the responses going in Discord, to keep the website updated, to do all the wonderful things that we do together. All right, so moving off thanks, let's do some more statistics. So James said this last year, I wanted to do better with graphs. So I'm going to do graphs. Last year we had about this many people on LinkedIn. This year we got almost 18,000. It's 18% 18 growth, which is exactly what we had last year. So we're growing at about the same rate. Group type still standard, which means anybody can join that wants. We're not private, we're not hidden. All right, so that's LinkedIn. Uh, last year we started the Discord group. And at this time, uh, which you can join there if you're not already a member, um, last year we had about 80 people there. Now we have 252. Uh, big increase. It's very active. It'd probably be more if I didn't occasionally kick out people who don't use it very often. Uh, and importantly, uh, the joke types are still real bad. So <laughs> get in there. Uh, Twitter, our Twitter account. Uh, last year, over 4,000 tweets. This year, we're up to 5,000, so it's going to keep on going. But more impressively, our follower count has really, really grown. We've almost, we basically doubled our follower count over the last year. So please keep using Twitter, keep sharing all the cool stuff that you see, and we'll see, keep making an impact. Uh, and last thing in this area is Facebook. Uh, last year did not exist. <laughs> This year does exist. Uh, please don't go there. It just really encourages Jordan. Uh, moving on from this, we've also had some great growth in our mentorship program. Uh, we've got over 100 jobs posted on our jobs board. If you didn't know, uh, on our website, uh, gamesuserresearchseek.org. Uh, we have a jobs board there that we can post it, and there's a Twitter account that also updates with it. We also have a mentor system, and we've had over 100 mentees mentored. In fact, this year we had to shut down the system for a while uh, because it's become so popular. So if you're open to mentoring people, please go there and sign up, and we can keep things going. Uh, outside of that, we are the IGDA, Gersig. Uh, you're all members if you came today and brought a ticket, it's part of the membership. Uh, please go check out what benefits that gets you, if there are quite a few. And also, uh, more as part of that, on Thursday, if you are going to GDC, please come along to the Games User Research and Experience Roundtable, which is being presented by us. It's really important that people attend. It'll be an opportunity to meet uh, developers who come along and talk about our discipline and interact with them. And also come along and make sure to rate it really highly so we get to do it every year. Um, also out there, uh, there are little stickers that you would have seen that you can add to your GDC badge. Please do wear them if you're going to GDC. 
Or if you're not, you can just take them and stick them wherever. <laughs> uh, second to last slide, and then you can get out of here. Uh, this one, uh, we do need you. We're a volunteer organization. Uh, theoretically, there are elections in June. Uh, in where unless something changes and I decide I want to be president for life, uh, there will be one chair, uh, me being replaced, and three steering committee members that will be up to be replaced. And I'll be looking for volunteers for that. Uh, if you already think that's something you'd like to do, please do reach out to me. Otherwise, I'll be putting the call out through Discord and LinkedIn and other channels. Okay, final thing, it's time to go out, be social. We've got the event at the smokestack. Uh, as mentioned earlier, a bus does, a bus is going, it's leaving at exactly 10 past six. They will not wait because they have to fill up on a very busy street. They're gonna be on the fifth street side. And again, there's only space for 55 people in this. And we really ask if you have another way to get there, if you have uh, an account uh, expense system that's good, please find your own way there. Otherwise, uh, the bus will be there. Make sure you get there on time. Look for the fifth street side uh, entrance and please do bring your badge along to the social event or we won't let you in. Okay, thank you very much and thank you for coming. It's been really wonderful.